Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all the Virgos, Sun, Moon and Rising signs out there. I want to thank you for being here, being back. Thank you for the thumbs up, the likes and the support. Thank you to all the Virgos out there. Okay, this is the last week of your Zodiac birthday until next year. And it is going to be a wonderful week. The weekend is ending off. Um, for all the Virgos out there, you are kept peoples because you have the energy vibration of the liberance also. As we look at this week, um, this week is the week of the eye, prin the eye princess and I so love this because you Virgos are always working with your intuition and it's a wonderful week. For you guys, it's the week of choices, duality. So connect to, um, with the eye princess, which is your intuition. And that is very, very, very important for you Virgos. Okay. Um, the, um, overall energy is the wheel of fortune. So you're really, really care clearing up your karmas in this week. And the wheel of fortune is the overall energies. And the week begins with the zodiac energy of the heart from uh, Monday until Friday. The rest of the week, uh, that is the energy of the hair zodiac, but it brings you su um, really um, surprise and happiness and, <laughs> and wonderful things. It's so beautiful. As we look at um, Monday, the energies of the wheel of fortune is here and the end has come to all the negative thing it is the last week of your zodiac energy birthday and the end because the um casket the dead box is on top of the wheel of fortune and this means that all the negative things has now been broken okay Followed behind the Wheel of Fortune, you have ju um, uh, judgment on Tuesday. This energy brings for you, um, there's a lot of quarrels and arguments and misunderstanding and miscommunication. And this happens whenever it comes to the end of a negative cycle in your life, because this is how we clear, we clear out negative energies around us. Um, some people don't like that. It's like when you're moving away from negative people, they don't like that. They start talking, talking about you and they start quarreling. On Wednesday, um, the Empress, which is um, the, an earth energy, she brings for you um, good luck. She brings just good luck, wonderful things she brought for you. This luck that she has brought for you, it's going to help you through your own life. It's going to bring you success and abundancy. As we look at Thursday, you're going to get a message. And this message that you're going to get when I look at the energy on the next day it is a message from an organization and the person who signed the the, the, the letter or whatever this woman is not vibrating on a higher vibration so if I were you I will just um, um, be careful how I answer and how I deal with the situation because she is she is a very um she's not vibrating in the eye of vibration it's just one of these people who are just very just negative okay so be careful of this because the energy is here you got the letter on thursday and then on friday you have to deal with a situation in the organization and this woman is not vibrating on the higher vibration it doesn't really matter because on saturday together with the lovers and this is good if you're having a business or um if you're having a business or something, but the universe is going to bless you with a lot of abundance, a lot of money coming in on Saturday for you and the lovers. And I'm seeing um, the lovers, this can all mean that a family, maybe you win the lottery, maybe, but it is with you and the lovers. So that means that um, if you were going through a very a rough time without financial help, the wheel of fortune, the end has come. And it's right underneath it. And then you see um, that money comes into you and your partner, whatever situation it, it, it was. And this can also be something for your business. So it can be your partner, your wife, or your husband, or your girlfriend, or your boyfriend. 
or whatever but um, money is coming in for both of you okay as we look at sunday sunday is wonderful you have victory triumphance and success so whatever you got the message on thursday and whatever was going on with this organization with this woman who was behaving in a lower vibration on saturday you receive the money and on sunday you have victory and success and the sun energy is above you and that is bringing more success and luck to you so i want to say to you please stay tuned for the general readings welcome this is the week number 38 and the energies for the week from the energy vibration it is um the four chakras and i am loving this energy because whenever the fourth chakra is here it is a navel chakra it is your navel chakra and you can call upon archangel gabriel supervisor of thorn element master of the five salamanders ask them to touch open and activate your navel chakra your navel chakra is where all of your energy point is and all of the energy base in your body whenever the navel chakra is touch open and heal door archangel gabriel or the universe you will feel a radiation of full good power energy coming into your life okay whenever your navel chakra is blocked you will have fat around your navels you will um you you will feel as if you're you have no energy and whenever you ask that the universe of archangel gabriel touch and open your navel chakra you will feel a new info of energy coming in in. the next card i have is the number 38 card from the map and it says the eel the itch eel the itch okay sometimes we feel as if oh my god why am i so stuck why can't i just move on why am i in this energy vibration and you need to this is time when you forgive forgiveness is the healer of the soul so this number 38 card is telling you that your soul is asking and calling to you to heal your soul and when we heal our souls and how we can heal our souls is to forget and to ask for forgiveness for the people who have done us wrong ask for forgiveness for ourselves first of all to help us forgive ourselves from the negative thoughts that we do with ourselves the negative things the things we don't like about ourselves first we are going to ask for forgiveness about that when we go forward we are going to ask for forgiveness for the people who have hurt us and we are going to ask to heal the bloodline of our mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers okay and whenever we do all that uh, emotional healing when we release all the pain and hurt that people have done us and we ask for forgiveness for these people then we no longer have this itch as we go forward we're going forward to the next um card and the next card that i have here it is the number 38 card from the wisdom deck and i love the wisdom deck because it is the the wisdom of the hidden rooms and it says the keeper of the scale fairness and balance remember again people that this week was the week of the high princess and the high princess comes up again with the um, keeper of the scale and this keeper of the scale is bringing fairness and balance remember we had the uh, wheel of fortune that is always bringing fairness and balance and the keeper of the scale is here bringing fairness and balance whenever she comes up i love this energy a lot of people don't like the tower this is like one of the tower experiences in our life but this is an energy vibration of you know she is coming to balance out all the negative energies all the things that one was unjust unjust to us that has happened to us and has been unjust in her life she is coming up but she um she is the 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 law of harmony okay so she brings harmony to all the balances and situations in our life i love this energy 
the last energy that I have. It is the energy from the Oracle and the energy from the Oracle comes up uh, with fairness and justice. I just so love this week. It is the last and fourth. It is the fourth week of September. I told you guys there are going to be changes. And with this week of the week, number 38, 38 is three plus eight is 11. So it is justice. It is earthly justice and the wheel of fortune come two times in this week. It is the overall energy and it begins the week. So there was a lot of fairness and justice. The number two energy of the week is also balance. So I want to say to everyone out there, I hope that something that has been going on in your life becomes balance. And I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for returning.